Could it be that the American Christian tradition is more like Muhammad than Jesus when it comes to questions of war and peacemaking? This sort of outlandish question prompts all sorts of fear, especially in light of the hard events of September 11. And yet it's that undercurrent of fear that's prevalent in America that prompted the writing of this book entitled, Who is My Enemy? That fear runs very deeply in American culture as I recently discovered in response to a lecture I delivered that found its way on the front page of the local paper. That by the end of the day, I had heard from Fox News in New York City, Detroit Talk Radio, and had gotten livid emails from Tel Aviv and Manhattan and New Zealand. This kind of fear is epitomized by a lady who said to me one day, what are we going to do about all these Muslims here in Nashville who want to kill us? This sort of fear is understandable in light of our experience, but it comes to the conclusion that all Islam is inherently warmongering and that any Muslim cannot abide as a good neighbor by another of another faith. And yet on the other hand, there is a polarizing sort of tendency which claims that all religions are basically saying the same thing that all faiths are getting at the same ethical considerations just in different ways. Ironically, both these stereotypes are wrong and it's precisely in disentangling the ways in which these two stereotypes are wrong that we elicit all sorts of other provocative questions, not only about Islam, but about the practice of Christianity in America as well.